Hey everyone, it's DJ Case UK here, back with another video on Acid Pro. I also make videos for other Sony Creative software such as Soundforge, Spectralears and Vegas. So if you're interested in learning more about creative software from Sony, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I've been using these products since they were first released and have years of experience using them. I've produced many tunes, some of which you can find on Beatport and I've been mixing and mastering for over 20 years. You can find all my social links in the description. And with that being said, let's get into this video. In this video, I want to give you more information about using plugins with Acid Pro. This is a beginner's guide and I'll do more advanced videos later, but first I need to cover the basics. So what are plugins? Plugins are an add-on for your door, which will give you extra tools to use. I've broken this down into three types of plugins that you might find. I've given these my own names to help you understand what kind of plugins you might find. The first kind of plugin you might find is what I call visual help tools. These will help you create your song, but they don't do anything else. With help tools you might find things like chord progression plugins to help you with writing the song, but they won't actually write the song for you, but they will point you in the right direction to keep your music in key. You might also find things like spectrum analysis tools to help you monitor your tune and the levels within the song. Visual help tools don't make any sounds, but they will help you keep an eye on the sounds that you're creating. The second type of plugin you might find is what I call practical tools. Practical tools will give you extra instruments and sounds for your projects and will actually allow you to create new sounds for your song and that's why I call them practical tools. With practical tools you can create sounds to use in your projects. These are more commonly known as VST instruments which stands for Virtual Studio Technology. Often these plugins will come with preset sounds that you can use or will allow you to make your own sounds. Each plugin will have been made to specialize in making a certain type of sound so some might be good for replicating orchestra instruments whereas other plugins would be better for making electronic dance music depending on what you want to do depends on the kind of plugin that you need to find the third type of plugin you might find is what i call enhancement tools these don't create sounds but instead they will add effects to make your sound more professional these are the tools that you would use for mixing and mastering and polishing your tune to make it sound professional and finished. Common effects used are things like reverb or echo or tools for mastering your tune which will tend to use things like EQ and compressors. So enhancement tools are really for making your sound better and making your sound more professional. I'll go into more detail about enhancement tools on other videos. So which plugins and tools can be used inside Acid Pro? The answer to that is not straightforward, but I will try and give you some useful information to consider. First of all, if you're using Acid Pro 7 or below, it's best to look for plugins which are 32-bit. And if you're using later versions, it's better to look for 64-bit plugins although you can still use 32-bit plugins on newer versions. Most 64-bit plugins are just remakes of older plugins which are made to work on newer systems and doors. Another thing to consider is that VST is something that was invented by Steinberg who made Cubase. So some plugins have been developed only to work exclusively on certain doors or just simply did not make it compatible for other doors. If they were a smaller company they might have just focused on more known doors and not made compatibility for doors which are not as widely used. However there will be something available that will work to do the job you need it to do which is why I will make other videos showing the best ones to use with Acid Pro. Plugins from major companies that specialize in making plugins tend to make sure that there is compatibility on all doors. So these are the ones which I mostly use. Usually the more known companies want to reach as many customers as possible. 
so they will always make sure that compatibility is available on all doors. In theory, you can run all types of plugins in ACID Pro to do everything you need. You just have to find the ones which work and that are compatible. I'll make more videos showing the plugins that I use to make my tracks with, so be sure to subscribe for more content on plugins. Be sure to subscribe to see the plugins which I recommend using with ACID Pro. I've spent many hours finding the ones which work best. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.